This forest is so cool, like some elven kingdom. Our hidden domain, far away from the stress of the modern world. So was fireweed, in its own way. I didn't have to deal with pumping gas and buying groceries, paying rent. Is my brother feeling a little unprepared? <laughs> Staying at Fireweed let me put off all that adult stuff. You'll get used to it, just like everyone else. Thanks. <laughs> Things were so simple when we were kids. The house, the lake, the woods. It was all right here. Everything we needed. Not everything. There's always trade-offs, and what you lose in trees, you gain in cool people, modern medicine, hot food. Sure, all that's nice, but are they needs? Mm. Mm. Remember how whenever we lost our toys in the sand, we thought the mad hunter had stolen them? We thought this sandbox would hide us from the mad hunter, remember? That's right. The sand was, what, supposed to distort his piercing eye? The sandbox was one of her best ideas. Remember how she made it magically appear Christmas morning? Yeah. Somehow she kept us in the house all day. That must have been tricky. I can't believe how old we were when we stopped believing in Santa. Speak for yourself. I stopped way before you. I just kept the illusion going for your sake. Right. So all those letters every year, please Santa, can I have a bike? That was all for my benefit. Got it. Seriously. I mean, Santa and baby Jesus weren't exactly her thing. She did it for us. Yeah. It's probably the only belief she ever compromised on. Ah, uh, the Mad Hunter. That was some dark shit for two little kids. Yeah, that's why we liked it. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. Of course. She was too proud to call another adult for help. Yep. Why do that when you've got free child labor? I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. You gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. I still can't believe I convinced you to climb that raggedy ash tree with me. Yeah. Not happening a second time. Oh, come on. I was the one who fell out. And then I had to walk all the way to Delos Crossing to get Tessa to drive you to the hospital. I was fine. You had a concussion. She flipped out. When she finally got back from bartering for socks or whatever. Tessa was so mad she wouldn't even talk to her. I mean, are you really living life if you haven't gotten a concussion or two? Mm, I think that's the brain injury talking. Um, no beavers. Too bad. A picture of him would have helped with the sale. Yeah, city people love cute furry animals. Teeming with wildlife, but not the kind that eats the insulation. Full of unique psychotic memories comes pre-haunted, so you can live out your paranormal investigator fantasy. Yep. <laughs> yep. We should do this for a living. Yes. Yes, we should. Even the beavers moved on. Situated comfortably in the ass of the world, solicitors will never come knocking. In fact, no one will ever come at all. Yep. <laughs> yep. We should do this for a living. Yes. Yes, we should. I wonder if there are still fish in the lake. Uncle Eddie taught us to fish here. Yeah, so she could keep an eye on us from the porch. She didn't trust anyone with us. Not completely. Not even Eddie. Yeah, but it was still a good memory. See? You do have some good memories with Uncle Eddie. Yeah, yeah. 
Do you still fish? Nope. You? Every Sunday morning. Once I could leave fireweed, of course. Alone? Totally. At first, it kind of made me crazy. And then I started to really like it. It was relaxing. Really? Yeah, you know. The lake, the water, the sky. Me, just a speck in the middle of it all. A speck with a spliff? Always. Uh, I almost forgot how calm it was here. From far enough away, everything looks peaceful. It's totally different from when we were kids. How so? Pretty much looks the same to me. Our mother isn't here to say no. I could scale that mountain or climb that tree or jump bare ass naked in the lake if I wanted. I feel free. I feel like I'm walking right back into a cage. And anyway, the lake is frozen. You'll break your ass. When I was a kid, I never stopped long enough to take it in. Now, I can't imagine walking by without stopping and staring. Let's hope we find some buyers who feel the same way. Dude, it's a little early to try to cross the lake. I know it looks totally frozen, but there are probably thin patches. Hey, the dangerous part of the fun. Let's not press your luck on your first day back. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Right. Not that she ever let me wear them very long. Are these authentic, Clinket? I doubt it. I'm surprised Marianne would buy fakes. 20 years ago, everyone was buying fakes. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here with big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah, Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. That was the one time we were ever quiet. We knew she needed to sleep. We all needed her to sleep. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. She kind of had an eye, I guess. But it was annoying. Uncle Eddie could never understand why I hated getting my picture taken. Yeah, same for me. All my photos at Fireweed, I've got my hands over my face like it's a perp walk. It made her happy. And it was kind of nice to see her smile. I guess. You okay? All these happy pictures. They look so sad now. So staged. I know. You can keep some of them, if you want. No thanks. I mean, I like the photos of us, but I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. I always loved when she came over. She brought food and toys. You might not be quite so excited to see her now. Why do you say that? Her worldview is narrow, even by Della's crossing standards. I wonder how Tess is going to react when she sees me. She's got the whole Catholic thing going on, but it's me. She's going to be cool, right? <laughs> we were, just not like she thought. You think she knew we were sharing answers? We shared for fun. We both knew them all anyway. What about you? You think you're gifted? I wouldn't be here if I was. What? Like, in this house, with me? I mean anywhere near here. 
I'd be working in Juneau or Seattle or something. What are you reading? Nothing interesting. A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. 2005. Of course. Hey, she drew some little hearts here. Oh. What? March 7th. Oh. Fucking hearts? Yeah. Like it meant something to her. Hey, that reminds me. I owe you like 10 birthday gifts. I think we can let that slide. I mean it. Hey, you being back is the only gift I need. What? You don't want me to buy you presents? You're gonna need your cash to get started. We've got a lifetime for gifts. Okay, but no presents from you either then. Deal. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. I love fixing things too. Header installs, swapping cams. Uh, those are car things, right? No, those are hot rod things. Well, keep up the car talk and you'll fit right in around here. But not the part where it got broken, especially if we were the ones responsible. I know, I'm just saying she liked to save broken things. Guess we never had time to complete the- Yeah, well, she could have tried a little harder to fix her own head. Can you picture Marianne talking to a shrink? No. And speaking of- Therapy's expensive, and I'm fine. How you feeling about being back? <sighs> I thought I knew what to expect, but everything keeps catching me by surprise. My nerves are completely raw. I get it. How about you? You okay? It's a lot to process. I'll get there, but I'm not there yet. Just glad we're together. Me too. I went over what I thought it would feel like to walk through that door. I was wrong. I know exactly what you mean. I'm honestly not sure how I feel yet. I'm just trying to think of it as an empty house. Yeah, an empty house full of actual ghosts. Hopefully they're friendly ghosts. It's not as hard as I thought, but then Fireweed was all about learning how to regulate your emotional response to stress. And that's working. I think it helps to focus on the fact that we're here to let it go. Well, I don't think I can let it go until it's actually gone. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? I'm tired of her mess. Let's dig into ours. Right, guess it's time to mainline nostalgia. Uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. <laughs> Tyler, do you copy? If we don't move fast, this whole thing is going to melt. Do you copy? <laughs> copy, Allison. Gonna get this thing moving soon. Don't want the Mad Hunter to catch us. Over. The Mad Hunter. Ugh, he still gives me the creeps. 
I wish I could forget about him. Hey, buddy. It's been a long time. Oh, this one wasn't mine. Wow. Look how small these beds are. We were so little. Yeah. Are you sure you're gonna be able to crack it? I'll be fine. I'm not stupid, you know. Sorry, sorry. Forgot I was talking to a puzzle master. I just started. Give me some time. All right, but I'm here when you're ready to admit defeat. You think you're any closer to an answer? I think I need some help. Okay, let's think this through. Okay, where do we start? The Book of Goblins. Let's read the story about the princess's party. All right, one more try. You think you're any closer to an answer? I still need more time. All right, but I'm here if you want to brainstorm. Okay, where do we start? The Book of Goblins. Let's read the story about the princess's party. Uh, I think I'm just gonna force this open. You sure? We're not in a rush, and we'll have to fix it. All right, one more try. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. So much for the fairy tale mood. Whatever. We're not ten anymore. She spent so much time making those elaborate games and worlds for us. Yeah. yeah. Enough that she lost her grip on reality. So, where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? And boom. We're in. for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not gonna let me forget that? Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? 